Right, listen here, you stupid looking man lit purring, whisker shaving, son of a gun. Wait, guns don't exist in the current game. I can't use something if it doesn't exist. Welcome, my Elder Scrolls loving, cave dwelling, my Ikadoring, Thalmor slaying friends to another Elder Scrolls video. I'm your host, Ascended Bandit King Maik, and today we are looking into five of the worst Skyrim quests the game has to offer. These quests range from the bold to the bore, the short to the unnecessarily long. Quests you just know in your heart? Ugh, why do I have to walk all the way to Rorikstead just to remind myself why I'm right? Seriously, why is Kamatu so goddamn far from Whiterun? That stuff hurts me, man. Makes me feel sore inside, you know? gets at them feely wheelies I've got going on but that's besides the point here as that quest is actually okay to play Mike is just chilling in the background in his bandit outfit still the king of the bandits except he says he achieved Kim and now randomly floats dear god what have I done? But let's jump into this tier list of my opinions. Remember, this is all my own opinion, and if you disagree, it doesn't matter, because I'm right. <laughs> oh, I'm not narcissistic, you're narcissistic, my friend. That's the word of the day, kids. Narcissistic. Learn it, own it, and use it. But anyway, let's do this sh- Let's start off with a quest I dread knowing I have to go through every single time I enter the cesspool of emotions that is Markart, a city dedicated to making me as miserable as possible. And that's saying something. Morthal, I'm looking at you. The House of Horrors is one of the many danger quests the player can take on to help out your old pal Molag Ball, who has gone from taking over all of Tamriel during the Second Era to living his life as an altar. All chill back now. Really high aspirations, but this chap is something else. He will set you on an extremely linear quest to track down and drag some random old dude back so you can torture and kill him over and over again until he agrees to Moly Woly's demands. What I despise about this quest is the sheer lack of choice and morales for your player character. I will literally have no choice but to avoid this quest when I'm playing a hero because you're forced to torture some random old dude. You literally have no choice, you have to do it. There's a bit of choice in the end speech but it's just not enough to warrant even considering this quest a good suitable RPG candidate because again, you literally have zero choice. By the time you finish the quest, you get the of Molag Ball, which is alright I guess. Some stamina weapons are fine, that would be one of the better ones in the early game, but it falls off very quickly in my opinion. But aside from all the crap I've already mentioned, alright, let's not even talk about how slow he talks to you. Have you aged yet? You and what? Seriously, why can't I skip this mother trucker? Screw him! But yeah, Molag Ball sucks, my eek sucks, you suck, I mean, shut up. Right, don't judge me, okay? I have every single reason under the sun to include this quest on the list because it's not just that I've done it more times than I can remember, it's simply because I've done it more times than I can remember. See, I told you I had a good reason, but realistically, this dungeon tells you a massive big fib and lies to your face. It's kind of repetitive and it's just annoying because when the game was originally shown in 2010 or 2011, whenever Todd showed his face to lie, you know, Bleak Falls Barrow was the big dungeon we were all shown. And Bethesda Game Studios being Bethesda Game Studios showed probably the best dungeon there is just for showcasing purposes and that's saying something when you look at some of these dungeons because out of the 150 handcrafted dungeons there is 60% of them are super short and just not fun to traverse the other ones are Dwemer runes and ridiculously long and completely ruin the pacing of the game for anybody who has the unfortunate nature of having to visit Blackreach oh god even mention it hurts my brain and soul to its core I like Bleak Falls Barrow somewhat in a weird way but it annoys the crap out of me that this quest doesn't represent the game in the slightest you have a bit of everything trap Drugger, bandits, gold to reap, and steal from the dead, you weirdo you. But now the quest for the Golden Claw or Imperial Knowledge's quest just remind me of the fact that this dungeon is built on a lie and no, I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat, you're wearing a tinfoil hat, my friend. So yeah, just shut up, okay? You have to collect 10 pages in a dead, barren wasteland devoid of life, soul and any life, forcing you to inhabit its dead lands only to feel depressed, unworthy, and in turn, this helps you to notice how enticing the closest cliff is for you to jump off of. I hate this quest. A return to your roots, a quest full of soul, purpose, and what's that? Did you say you love collecting random things you can barely see in the map? What's that? You also said you want to collect 30 of them in this messy dark map? Okay, cool, because Todd heard you, loud and clear, and now we all have to suffer for it. Why do Bethesda love to make us collect mass quantities of stupid pointless items? It's so unfun and pointless. 30 crimson nerd roots, my friends. 30. When I first did this, finding Sindarian's body was awesome. It was a great nod back to the alchemist from Oblivion, but when you do this quest, not just once, alright, not just twice, but over 
over 10 times, you begin to see its flaws. Your reward for doing this quest is Sindarian's Serendipity, which is an ability that gives you a whopping 25% increase in making two potions instead of one. This is just not worth it. I know enough alchemy exploits to last me forever. I mean, you can do this quest. Black Reach can be fun sometimes. I enjoy finding the big old boy dragon and exploring it and just looking at it, but I mean, this Nurn Root quest is so obnoxious to do, like you are stuck down here doing it. Even if you know where every single Crimson Nurn Root is, it will probably still make you take up to about half an hour to do it due to Black Reach's confusing and sometimes really dumb designs. Am I expected to believe people lived here? I mean, it's obvious they did, but still, I wouldn't live in a place like this. It makes me sad inside. I've noticed a recurring theme with all these places is the misery they caused me for having to do them. This quest gave me a new form of disease. I didn't even know existed, and that disease is boredom. Yes, I was diagnosed by my local doctor, <laughs> Todd the Diddly Dodd Howard, who said, collecting these stones was part of my life journey. However, there would be illnesses that came with it because by God, this quest is dumb. There are literally stones spread all across the map in some of the stupidest places I think I've ever seen collectibles be put. They are so specific. You most likely won't even see 90% of these stones unless you are really lucky, and I'm sure someone out there found them by themselves with no help but if that kind of a human being exists, I salute you, soldier. You are a hero. You have to collect 24 of these bad boys. Because according to Vex, they aren't worth crap on their own. And they are only worth something when all are collected. So let's say you go and actually collect these stones. You put in that effort. So much of your time so you can get a few extra rewards, you know? Do you enjoy finding sapphires and diamonds in chests? Well, good, because that's your reward. More chances to find more gems. Imagine. Imagine the audacity of the toddling to create something so dumb and pointless and wasteful. All that time you gave just so you can get a few extra gems out of the radiant chests you encounter? No thank you sir, console commands are my friends and you shall not take them away from me. I am powerful alone and with no help from you. I mean Baron's eye is cool cause she's a Morrowind, but we all know Morrowind's a doo doo game and Skyrim is Omega and oh look, Iso's next expansion is Skyrim, so we're going back to Skyrim again for the 15th time. Let's go Todd, you did it again! That's it for today my friends, be sure to check out my other Elder Scrolls content to see some similar videos of this style. I really enjoy making videos as a full time job and uh, don't know what I'd do without your support and friendship. If you would like to support me further, maybe consider becoming a member of the channel by hitting that luscious join button below as there are three tiers to choose from and each come with their own perks for you to gain that I created just recently. One of them is saying a thank you to each and every single one of my current members as you guys are helping to keep me alive and kicking so I can keep creating content for you and keep doing this job which I love to do. And it's all in hopes that you will watch the enjoy my videos, which I really hope you do. I cannot stress how much I appreciate all your support, and even to those who just watch my videos and leave a like or dislike, I thank you for it. You really are an amazing community that I'm incredibly grateful to be a part of. But uh, thank you, Adam J. L. E. Caius, Chevron Milner, Daniel Sharp, Ellen W, Emu2, G Daddy, Jar Jar, Jerome the Sheep, Lady Macbeth, Lori, Michael McConnon, Mike from Texas, Monkey Egg, Mufa, Nicholas Layu Bomir, Nilador, Philo Baggins, Shaz, My Happy Place, Staz, That Jar big guy, the one and only Dree, Vid Begonia, Wade, Zachary Fluke, and uh, I'm going to butcher this. Hold on. <laughs> I'm a making an attempt, so uh, please uh, forgive me, my friend. I'm pretty sure this is an Icelandic name. Uh, Tor Leffer Guo Fitter. Did I mess it up? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for all the support, and I will uh, see you in the next one.